Hi guys, I haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd I'd get back onto it and show you a really, really si simple, quick recipe. Now in front of me, I've got a boiling pot of hot water, uh, which I'm going to add some chicken stock. Now what we're actually gonna make, smoke, flames, it all makes it really real. Um, <laughs> what we're gonna actually make is polenta wedges, and I don't know if you've ever seen polenta before or used it, uh, but polenta is a cornmeal, so it's similar to so it's similar to flour, I suppose, however, uh, like porridge consistency when you cook it up. Most people will serve it as a mashed potato replacement or a pasta replacement. I like to actually make chips out of it. They're really crispy and tasty. They do have a better GI than other chips as well, and they're certainly not deep fried. So polenta you can pick up from the supermarket. It's not a specialty ingredient. It's generally where all the flour or the pasta or the rice is. Today I found this one where the flowers were. So this is polenta, so cornmeal. So into a cup full of, so two cups full of water, um, you generally put a cup full of polenta. Now you might need to put a little bit more or a little bit less hot water, it just depends on the, um, on the type of polenta that you use. So to mine, as I said to you before, I like to add a little bit of chicken stock. So about a teaspoon of chicken stock, give it a little bit of extra flavor. And as that's heating up, I'll get out my whisk. So polenta initially, when you pour it into a boiling hot pan of water, it will start to bubble and splat everywhere. But as you're raining it in, you want to whisk it at the same time. Otherwise, like white sauce, it'll get really, really gluggy. So about a cup full of polenta to my two cups of boiling hot water with your chicken stock added to it. So pouring that one straight in. As I'm raining it in, I'm going to get my whisk and get it whisking away. So when it hits the stove, you should be able to see it, see? And it starts to actually thicken up. So it's a pretty quick process. In the same instance, I've actually got this one here as well too, so it's all prepared. So this is just a little baking tray and I've just greased it with some olive oil. Um, and now what I'm trying to do is get my polenta to a nice consistency. So I'll get rid of that whisk, turn the heat down, and then I'll start stirring. So what you'll see is a nice sort of gloopy amount of polenta. And as it starts to come away from the sides, that's when you know that it's nearly ready. So keep whisking it, keep whisking it around. It's really good for the arms. And I'll take this one off the heat. So you should be able to see now, it's all come away from the sides. I've got some chopped rosemary. So you can flavor it with anything that you like. I love rosemary and parmesan. I also make one with olives through it. And this is, you just want to give it a little bit of character. So I've got some parmesan cheese now. I'm just going to add some of that. So it's a really quick process. Once you hit that polenta into the water, it starts to thicken up pretty well instantly. Um, unlike other polenta, sometimes you actually have to cook it for a long time. This one's just a quick polenta, so it doesn't require much cooking time at all. So with this one, I just give it a quick stir around. So there's your polenta mix. Pretty simple. So it is like mashed potato consistency, as you can see. And then all I do, is pour it into my prepared little tray. So pour it all in, scoop it round from the sides. It should come off relatively easy. As you can see. And then all you wanna do is then just press it down um, into your tray. Now I normally just use my hands, squish it down so this would serve, it depends how many chips that you like, but 
at least um, two to three people if you're just serving it as a, um, a side to a bit of meat and some vegetables uh, you know you probably only really need half a dozen if you're just gonna have it uh, as a snack or certainly as a dinner meal by itself which I've done plenty of times trust me um, then you probably get two meals out of this so polenta chips as you can see it's all spread out in the tray. Now all you do is just stick it in the fridge and let it set. It only takes about oh, an hour if worth in the fridge and then all you do is cut it up into little fingers, generally about that size, and then you pan fry it and put it in the oven and it gets all crispy and they're the perfect little chip replacement and much healthier alternative. See ya.